All right. So a lot of people right now, Joe, especially in the recruit industry, are frozen because of this crisis that we're in. So you're going to be hearing your sales team, you yourself, you're going to be hearing a lot of this. We're not hiring right now. We've frozen all of our hires. You know, what do you do when you hear that ex objection? Like business needs to go on. So let's creatively think of some ways to get past that objective objection. At least get yourself halfway in the door. And that's half the battle in sales anyway. Yeah. Option one, closing doors is not an option. You know, I, I've heard, I've, unfortunately already in the last two weeks or two weeks, I've heard, I'm just going to go ahead, shut the doors till this all blows over and figure something out. This isn't a storm per se. It might be a storm from that standpoint. Like this isn't something, and we're not claiming that we have the answer of when this is going to end, but you've got to have some of these things prepared of, of what you're going to do to get through your business. What niche niche are you in? What, you know, who can you help? Who can you serve? I think a big part of this you and I were talking about, David, is changing your mindset from who can you sell to during this time to freak out from who can you help? There's businesses that need your help right now that are going to be looking for positions that they didn't even know existed before this, all, the, this crisis hit us. Absolutely. And not to mention, guys, Joe hit this on the head. Now is absolutely not the time to do nothing and stand still. You're not on vacation. You're not allowed to. We forbid that, okay? Like, there's external growth that a lot of people consider <laughs> revenue growth, but it's also, there's also internal growth. And this is you strengthening your skill set, right? What can you be working on your business right now? Um, if you are in a niche that is, you know, that has a hiring freeze, what can you be um, doing right now to make sure that when this whole thing, you know, gets resolved, your company's up and running and hitting, hitting its strides? Is it reading more books? Is it self-education? Is it sharpen up your operations? Or maybe you finally um, change up your sales scripts or learn some marketing. I mean, Joe and I can definitely help you with that part of it. So uh, <laughs> no matter what, now is not the time to stand still. Yeah, not the time. And again, you, you hit a good point. You know, we work with a lot of recruiters, obviously. Um, we work with businesses that, that say, hey, I, like, I'd love to do that, but I don't have the time. All of a sudden, like now you're given the gift of time. Like this is when you can work on some of your marketing pieces, those videos that you've been waiting to create for your business to, to have it be something to expose. Now is the time to make sure that you're not hiding when your clients that need you are looking for you, right? They need that certainty during uncertain times. So you being that beacon, that person that's like, hey, we're still here, letting people know that either going back to your previous clients or just putting that message out there, we're still here. Well, here's a resource, letting them know constantly that message that you're still here, you're still here. So they know they don't have to go looking for you. You're already there. And we were talking to a recruiter earlier, and they made the point that a lot of candidates right now or a lot of top talent, mm. they're vulnerable. Like now is the time the recruiter could come in, they're uncertain, and it could steal them away from a good company to a great company. So you need to let your clients know about that. And how can they protect against that? It's like, they can assume that when business starts up as usual, they're, they're going to be seats that are empty. So why not start doing some searches now, at least some talent scouts, maybe not a full-blown search, but just have something ready. Um, so this way, when, when they're going in full gear again, half the battle is already won. So think of creative ways that you can add value to really um, survive this, this, this crisis, you know? Yeah, That's a great point. And, and helping them, like you've got to look at your business, how are you going to get through this times? They're thinking the same thing. So if you can offer a resource, maybe it's a post COVID-19 or, you know, exit or, you know, exit of post COVID-19 strategy, right? So when they're getting out of COVID-19, how do we get through that? Making sure that they're ready for that ramp up stage, that they've got that in place, that they're going to have, you know, how are they getting through that? How are, how are they doing some remote interviews in the meantime, all the different pieces. And you might be saying, well, people are already saying that stuff. People are already doing it. That's great. Are they hearing it from you, right? Like it doesn't matter if other people are already saying it and already doing it. Are your clients hearing it from you? Make sure that they know that you're still there. Otherwise, they're going to go to that other person that's saying it, that is jumping in and saying it. Absolutely. So guys, these are some ideas that we came up with to handle that. Uh, we're not hiring right now. We have a hiring freeze objection. We would love to know your thoughts. Comment below on how you're dealing with that objection right now. And if we see that you're, the way you're dealing with is by shutting down and not doing anything, we will come after we will find you. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. But, um, you know, we, we, Joe and I have committed ourselves to really put out a lot of content and, and showing you some of our best stuff. So stay tuned. Um, we're going to have another video for you guys tomorrow. So looking forward to it.